Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to another video on the channel. I hope everybody's well, having a fantastic day. So a lot of people have been, you know, tweeting me or contacting me on social media or privately saying, why haven't I been doing many videos? <clears throat> and there's a perfectly good reason for that. It's because I'm pretty much done with Call of Duty at this point. I don't even want to make videos talking about how bad the video game is because I just want the game to die. And it's like media at the moment. You know, everybody goes on about cancelling these people or, oh, they said this, the, the media outrage, you know. It's it's the whole same thing. You know, while ever people are talking about Call of Duty and how bad it is, it's still going to be, you know, relevant. The day that people stop caring about Call of Duty altogether is the day where the game becomes irrelevant and they actually have to make changes. And... I wanted to talk about this because this thread has come back up from this guy here. Obviously, he's quite successful. He's got 300,000 subs on YouTube, only 23-year-old, so the guy's killing it. Um, but he tweeted out, and I saw this through ExoGhost, who we've got a mutual follow. He's basically coming across this whole skill-based matchmaking, you know, kind of algorithms and stuff. He's you know tweeted out here, if you're ever wondering why you get bot lobbies after purchasing a new skin cosmetic, you know, and then he goes on to explain how the matchmaking algorithm works that based on if you're buying skins, Activision want you to play the game more. So he's kind of generalizing the whole, if you buy skins, they will put you in easier lobbies because you're spending money. They want you to be playing the game more so than somebody who's not spending money. We've gone over it before, um, and it and goes on about that. He also links here that there's also skill-based damage, you know, hitboxes, spawns. Um, which all, you know, change depending on what you buy on the game. Um, it's all here in the patents. A lot of people are saying, well, why would Activision, you know, um, implement these? You know, there's no proof that Activision have implemented these um, patents into the game. Well, it's cost millions of pounds, you know, to get these patents in a position where you're going to present them to actually get them activated. Um, so why would they not do that? The, he goes on to say potential skill-based audio. I don't know how true that one is. Um, I've looked at all these briefly. Again, I'm by no means an expert on this, but um, I, I know enough to think that this is a scumbag move. And, you know, basically that I think the way I analogize this, if that's a word, um, is that you are no longer playing Call of Duty. Call of Duty is playing you. You're not playing a video game to enjoy it. You're playing a video game and the whole video game's engineered in such a way at a coding level, you know, right at the ones and zeros at that level to actually get you to spend as much money as possible. So from Activision's point of view, who are they going to want playing the game? Because ultimately, if you're playing the game and not spending any money, you are costing Activision money because servers don't run for free. However, there's way more people out there who offset that, you know, deficit who buy all the skins. So they want the people to, you know, buy the skins to have the best possible time on their game. And I tweeted this out um, on my Twitter. Um, I think there's a video on it somewhere um, where I actually, you know, talked about this. I said this years ago when I won a 1v7 in Warzone. Now, I used to stream Warzone, you know, Verdansk Warzone, um, Lockdown Verdansk, whatever you want to call it. And we had some great times playing that game. We really did. We 200, 300 viewers watching live. You know, it's the best my channel's ever done um, while I'm live streaming. So, you know, we were having a great time. Everybody were having a lot of fun. We were playing viewer games, all the Boomer Squad, all that. Um, and while I was having fun on the game, before it become a cesspit of cheating everywhere, I used to buy skins on the game because I actually enjoyed it. Um now, I won a 1v7 versus a team of four at the end, and then I think there was another two as well. I had recently purchased an MP7 skin. I was using that weapon in the game, and I'm thinking, I am nowhere near good enough to take out a full squad of four and kill a duo. The game was actively helping me through whatever means all these you know algorithms have. It wanted me to win because I'd just purchased a skin. You know, it put me against probably lesser skilled players. Again, I'm by no means a great player at this game. I'm just slightly above average. And it probably modified the hitboxes. Who knows? Who knows, ladies and gentlemen? 
And that's kind of why I made this video. You know, <laughs> it isn't just Call of Duty. It's not just Modern Warfare 2. There's a lot of games out there where they have predatory systems to actually, you know, make people spend more money than ever. There's no such thing as a free-to-play video game. Yes, okay, I know that you don't have to pay anything to download and install it on your computer, but to enjoy a game to its full extent because of these predatory matchmaking systems in them, you need to spend money to get an actual enjoyment out of the video game. And there's going to be people in the comments crying like little bitches saying, oh no, I have fun, I have fun. There's always one. You know, there's, there's always one there. But for the majority of people, and that's who I'm representing here, I'm not representing the 0.1% who are extremely gifted at playing video games. I'm, a, I, I'm kind of here representing the casual gamer who wants to sit there after you know being at work, for God knows how many hours, you come home, you want to chill and you want to play video games. Even though I'm a, I'm, I'm dead against skill-based matchmaking. You know, if even me as a, you know, single father, we're a four-year-old, even me who works a 40-hour 40 40-hour week, I've still got enough time to dedicate myself to a game to get better at it to then reap the rewards later on once I've mastered the game. You know, why do you think a lot of games... What are still popular right now are the games where it's easy to just pick up and play, but it's incredibly difficult to master. League of Legends, most popular game worldwide. Anybody can play that to a silver gold standard. Pretty much anybody. But to get to the top end of it, same as Valorant, CSGO, you know, competitive COD, you have to put some time and effort into it to get to those levels. But COD at the moment, just casual COD, because of the skill-based matchmaking in it, it's the same boring, repetitive gameplay experience all the time. And that's the problem. And that leads on to this. And again, I know this isn't the best way to look at things, but it's the only metric we've kind of got to look at. I know, obviously, there's way more people play, you know, video games on console than on, you know, sweaty trial PCs. But if you look here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone, they've kind of lumped it into one, which is good for us. 69,000 people playing that game. Obviously, it's still incredibly popular. Not going to get it wrong. But when you look at the twist here, Apex Legends, 395,000 players compared to COD Warzone, 69,000. Now, there's always people who comes out saying, oh, well, you know, it's on different launches. You know, Call of Duty, it's, 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 it's on Battle.net and it's on Steam. Yes, but EA is the exact same with Apex. You know, Apex is on... You know, both platforms, it's on Steam and it's also on, you know, the EA app, Origin app, whatever you want to call it these days. So I'm not expect I'm I'm not gonna take that shite from you know a few people in the chat saying it's because it's on different launches. I'll tell you why it is, because it's people are sick of playing shitty manipulating, you know, video games. Apex Legends, the rank system in that, and there's a few people moaning about that at the moment, but you know, Apex ranked is fantastic. If you're that type of player and you want to grind and get the best rank possible, it's great. The only reason I don't play Apex Legends is because I play solo and it's clearly a game what's designed from, you know, again, from the very bottom to be played as part of a team. Obviously, the, you know, abilities in that game all complement each other um, and obviously the meta. And then <laughs> the last thing I want to talk about, there's all these people, you know, virtue signaling saying, I'm not going to buy Modern Warfare 3. I will have a bet right now. Hold on. I don't want to give him a view because I don't personally like the guy. You know, he kind of scams kids out of the pocket money doing a GoFundMe because he's lost all his money on crypto. Bad move when he's made millions over the years in ad revenue. You know, um, obviously, blame truth. You know, he does what he does. Not going to lie. You know, he's very successful at it. Um, so <laughs> you can't, you know, talk badly about the man when he he's played YouTube way better than pretty much every single creator who's ever tried it maybe he's probably the top one percent of creators all time with views um he he tweets out that well sorry he tweets he's, he's made a video saying activision with a cease and desist again i'm boycotting modern warfare 3 i will give away a playstation 5 to one of my subscribers if blame truth does not buy you know this year's call of duty game well, they've already announced it's going to be Modern Warfare 3, so I'll say Modern Warfare 3. And you can clip this video. I will buy somebody a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X, whichever one you want, if Blame Truth does not buy Modern Warfare 3. I'm that confident he will, because ultimately, you know, he makes content. 
he needs to, to be fair to him. But again, that's why I've not made many videos. Call of Duty is just irrelevant to me. It means nothing to me anymore. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would never even say Call of Duty. It's not a word in my vocabulary anymore. But again, this channel is going to continue. Don't get me wrong. I'm just going to do different things. Um, we've got um, Amnesia the Bunker coming out on June the 6th. We're going to be playing that live. We're also going to be um, absolutely cane in Diablo 4. I'm going to be making videos on Diablo, my experience with it. But again, there's going to be varied content on the channel. We're not going to main anything in particular. We'll just see what happens. But again, thank you, everybody, for your continued support over the years. Really appreciate it. But, you know, COD is COD. Modern Warfare 3 is going to be the same old shit. It doesn't matter if it's the best game ever from a you know technical point of view. It doesn't matter if it's got the best maps, the best weapons, the best kill streaks ever. It doesn't matter because skill-based matchmaking and all these algorithms in the back end are going to ruin it. You know, imagine a game where there's skill-based matchmaking in it to get everybody to the same 1KD, what has kill streaks and score streaks in it. It just makes absolutely no sense. But all I ask of you guys, if you play that game, stop playing it because you're part of the problem. Love you all. Take it easy. Bye-bye for now.